everyone, welcome to another 31 Days of Horror with me. Today we're going to be talking about a movie called Annihilation, starring Natalie Portman. I have loved every role I've ever seen her in, and her portrayal of the character Lena in this movie, it, it's perfect. This movie has absolutely beautiful visuals like this. I appreciated that this story wasn't spelled out like a lot of movies are. It's definitely a thought-provoking movie to me. A lot of the characters were stereotypical and kind of one-dimensional. Not kind of. Most of them were one-dimensional, but I do feel it worked for this story because they weren't the focal point. They were supporting roles to get the story going. They weren't the main focus of the events or the overall story. The effects in this movie are awesome. Some of the favorite little subtle things that I like are they go into this place called The Shimmer where people go in and they don't come out and you could tell you were in the shimmer because you could see like these light rainbow iridescence in the background a lot like bubbles and in the water so you knew you were in our earth you were in this place that called the shimmer and the shimmer basically messes with whatever's around it the landscape the animals the plant life and some of the creature designs that came out of this mixture of I don't want to say what it is because I don't want to ruin it, but this changing environment is pretty awesome and creepy. Because of this, it does become a horror movie with the aspect of, for instance, this bear, not bear thing. He's kind of super creepy. Going into this movie, you meet the character Lena, who is mourning the loss or potential loss of her husband who is in the military. He's been basically missing in action for some time. She's not getting answers from the government, the military. No one knows what's happened to him. He randomly shows up, which gets her involved in what's going on with the Shimmer. And she, as a biologist, wants to try and figure out what's going on with her husband so that they can fix their relationship. You think that this movie is about her saving him, but in reality it is about saving their relationship due to things that have happened. She ended up cheating on him. So to me this movie is about their relationship and the depths that one would go to seek redemption in a relationship. The storytelling in this movie is not Linear. It does jump around a lot from point A to J to B to not XYZ but everywhere else in between and XYZ do stay at the end. I do give this movie a 5. I really enjoyed the creativity, the visuals, the acting, and where the story ended up going towards the end. I recommend watching it so you can find out for yourself what goes on. I don't want to do any spoilers for this because it was a really interesting movie. It kept me fully engaged the entire time. Well, that's one more movie down on 31 Days of Horror and one review each day means we're one day closer to Halloween. I hope you're looking forward to Halloween as much as I am. I hope you're enjoying the series as much as I have enjoyed making it for you. And Make sure to like, subscribe, all the social media stuff right there. And from my dark heart to yours, have a wonderful day and please don't die before my next video.